masculine is, is or was committed to reuniting with you. So this is part two for Divine Feminine's reading for this week. Um, and like I said, Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine was either committed to reuniting with you, going out with you, socializing, taking you out on a date, but I'm getting something happen. There was some type of delay. Um, it's like y'all reunion got stagnant. So I don't know if your Divine Masculine could have slept with this man to get some money, Divine Feminine, to help you out. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know who this man is. Let me see. This man. Was Divine Masculine in a romantic relationship with this man? Was he in a love triangle with this man? Okay. It's telling me no. Okay. So that's good. <clears throat> so I'm, that's, that's still a possibility. This energy could split. But okay. The cards told me that it wasn't romantic. But this man was doing something against your divine masculine. Um, and I'm getting your divine masculine wanted this queen of pentacles energy. But he's in his feminine energy and I'm getting divine feminine. <sighs> he, whatever your divine masculine was doing or trying to obtain this, he, your divine masculine was in his feminine energy at the wrong time. He was in his feminine energy at the wrong time. But I, like I said in video one, I'm getting a little bit of backwardsness with your divine masculine. He did something wrong or he did something backwards. So it's like concerning your divine masculine being in this queen of pentacles energy, either divine feminine, your divine masculine being in that queen of pentacles energy is going to cause you to have to defend yourself. Or this is your divine masculine having to, to defend himself. Because he was in that Queen of Pentacles energy. And that's probably why this man... I don't know if this man could be, like, gay himself and thought your Divine Masculine liked to him. Because your Divine Masculine was being too feminine. That's what could be going on, too. And it's like, this man... This man was doing something. And it was affecting... It was like the land y'all reunion. That's what I'm getting. It can be indirectly or directly. This man was doing something. That's what that can be too. Let me see. Is this man bisexual or on the DL? Is this man right here bisexual? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, that's what's going on, Divine Feminine. This man liked the Joe Divine Masculine. And it's like, your Divine Masculine probably used to talk about you all the time to this man. And... <laughs> this man was delaying y'all reunion. So, I don't know if this man could have been giving your divine masculine some wrong, wrong advice. This man could have been lying on you, divine feminine. This man could have been messing up your divine masculine car, his business, to keep him away from you. Um, But this man liked your divine masculine. So, it delayed y'all reunion. It delayed it. But your divine masculine is going to figure it out. Some way, somehow. Your Divine Masculine is going to figure out, because it let me know right here, that this is this man being a sneaky fox, and your Divine Masculine going to catch him. Your Divine Masculine going to catch him being sneaky, being trying to be slick, um, and mess up y'all um, reunion. This man is trying to mess up y'all reunion, keep y'all apart, or your Divine Masculine, cause it could be something simple as... Um, your Divine Masculine was trying to get his car fixed to come visit you, Divine Feminine, and this man didn't want him to do it. So it's like he threw a, like a monkey wrench in there and could have messed up your Divine Masculine car. Yeah. Something like that. Um, yeah. And it's because this man, your Divine Masculine went through that, attracted this man in that way because he was in his feminine energy. Your Divine Masculine was queen of, queen of Pentacles. Mm -mm. Nope. Queen of Pentacles. This man could have um, mental health issues, Divine Feminine. So you might have to be careful. This man probably really like your Divine Masculine. And is letting me know your Divine Masculine is going to tell this man good riddance, cut ties with him. So this man might very well like, like come for you. Because he's jealous. He liked your Divine Masculine. Um... And your Divine Masculine, 
I think your divine masculine is going to get in his page of wands energy and come off like very. I'm getting he don't want to get into a fight with this man. That's why I'm getting your divine masculine in this page of wands energy because he don't want to fight this man because he done figured out that man done lied. So it's like this man, which could very well be a fire sign, a Leo, Aries or Sagittarius. This man could be pissed off because your divine masculine caught him. So it's like instead of fighting fire with fire, your divine masculine like numb down his anger and just be like, you know what, bruh, I'm out. Like something like that. Page of Wands, I'm out. I ain't arguing with you. Um, cause it's like the when it's like when your divine masculine catch him, it's like your divine masculine in the Knight of Wands energy. When he catch this man. And he this man could get very offensive and defensive and like ready to fight your divine masculine. Possibly even pull out like a gun on your divine masculine. So it's like your divine masculine be like, bruh. I ain't got time for that. I'm I'm straight. I'm out. That's what I'm getting. Cause this man, I don't know if this, if your divine masculine catch this man jerking off to his pictures or some. Your divine masculine catches this man doing something, and it's like your divine masculine figure out this man like him. So your divine masculine is star in reverse, and he tell this man good riddance. I'm done. We ain't boys no more. I don't need you to work on my car. I'm done. Your divine mask can get rid of this man. Yep. So, divine feminine, like I said, if you in contact with your divine masculine, if this resonates with you, just, just know this is going to happen to him this week. And when he's talking to you, listen more than you talk. Listen to what your divine masculine is saying to you. Because I don't know, divine feminine, this man right here could have been your ex. Something crazy like that going on. And your divine masculine might indirectly tell you. So, your oracle from the wild oracle's deck, I'm going to read it again and say truth. When everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. You do the talking. You do the talking, dear Lord. Take me over and speak through me. So, what I keep getting, Divine Feminine, you not too much out here except for this Empress. And I'm getting, this is your Divine Masculine, like, remembering you. Something you said to him. Your energy not out here, Divine Feminine. This is your Divine Masculine and this man right here. Um, This man could have very well put out a gun on your Divine Masculine. Um... But I'm getting this oracle is for your divine masculine. These oracles is for him. These oracles is for him. Because your divine masculine going to be in a sticky situation. And a little bit of like some danger this week. And his perception. And divine feminine. This is something you could have told him. Like this is not your friend. He likes you. It could have been something you already warned him about. Perception. And truth, yo, it say when everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, even the act of speaking. <laughs> so it's like, like I said, when your divine masculine catch this man in a lie, this man might get very defensive and very well pull out a gun on your divine masculine. So it's like your divine masculine gonna have to shut up and be like, you know what? I ain't arguing with you, bruh. I'm out. I don't want no beef with you. He gonna have to turn into the page. Something like that going on. But I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna get the T cards. Okay. Ooh. Oh God. So yeah. Um. Yeah. So I'm gonna put the the T on it. What's the T? This oracle right here. And um. What I wanna say again. This man, and I'm, it's a karmic, this man that have a crush that like your divine masculine, he could be a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius, and divine feminine, your divine masculine could be a water sign, Cancer, Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio, or he an earth sign. Um, 
Capricorn towards a Virgo, or he can very well be um, an, Aqu an Aquarius, your divine master. So, what's the T with the star in reverse and the Empress? The star in reverse and the Empress. So, basically, all this energy down here is divine feminine. This is something you warrant your divine masculine about. And it's like manifesting. This is something you already told him and warned him about. And it's coming. It's, it's manifesting. It's happening. So he like having an aha moment. Like my divine feminine was right. Something like that. What's the T on the start in reverse? Nah, that's too much. What's the T on the star in reverse and the empress? The star in reverse and the empress. Yeah, bad reputation. Yeah. Um. This man, like I said, in this deck is usually a karmic. So, your divine masculine could be giving up on this man because of his reputation. People could have been telling telling your divine masculine that this man ain't no good. He, he gay. He on the DL. But this man could have been his best friend or something. And he didn't want to believe people. This man could be a bad businessman. He's a karmic. And it's like your divine masculine didn't want to believe it. But now it's like he giving up. He letting go of this bad reputation. This man, this karmic around your divine masculine. He letting that go. He starting to reverse. He like good riddance. I don't want nothing to do with that. What's the T on the Three of Cups, the Page of Wands? No, what's the T on this Page of Wands energy? What's the T on this Page of Wands at the bottom? When Divine Master caught this karmic. What's going on with this Page of Wands at the bottom? Oh, caught a case. Oh, sexual infection, sexual disease, and a rash? Oh, okay. So... Your divine masculine some way somehow found out this man got some type of STD. What could have happened, divine feminine? Your divine masculine probably didn't mind that this man was gay or on the DL. But this man could have come, came on to your divine masculine whether it happened this week or in the past. It's like this man could have came on to your divine masculine. Or probably even tried to holler at you, divine feminine. So I'm like, I'm thinking your divine masculine was probably cool with it. Okay, whatever, whatever. But it's like, what well, take the cake is your divine masculine going to find out this man got an STD. That's what he going to find out. Or he can probably catch this man sleeping with another man. Something like that sexually going on. Your divine masculine probably catch him. Sleeping, doing some type of sexual contact, something with this, with another man. Mm-hmm. That's what's going to happen. So, like I said, your divine masculine going to find out this man got an STD and was trying to holler at him or you divine feminine. Or he's going to catch this man, this karmic, in like an awkward position with another man. Yup. What's the T with the Ace of Swords in reverse in this Page of Swords? I mean, this Page of Wands. What's the T? Yeah, Obsessive Lover. Yup. Your Divine Masculine gonna find out the truth that this man, this karmic, is like a, an obsessive lover. This man wanted your Divine Masculine. Dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessiveness, and karmic. And that, that girl got a gun. That girl got a gun. I told you he could have put out a gun on your divine master. Or this man right here, one of his baby mothers or something, could have put out a gun on your divine master. Thinking that your divine master is sleeping with this man. Because his baby mother probably already know this man go both ways. Something like that going on. Yeah, this could have been this karmic man, one of his women. One of his baby mothers put out a gun on your divine master. So I'm getting somebody going to pull out a gun on your divine master. And it's not a coincidence that this card came out and that girl holding a gun. Or this could be your divine masculine having to put out, pull out a gun to protect you, divine feminine. 
your divine masculine gonna have to probably have to do something to protect you. Because when this man find out your divine masculine don't get down like that, this man could probably come out his mouth threatening you, divine feminine. So it's like your divine masculine probably had to pull out this gun on this man. Um, what's the tea with this Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Pent and the um Ace of Pentacles? What's the tea on that? Yeah, marrying for money. Marrying for money. Marrying for money. Um. Oh, I don't know if this man. This man that like your divine masculine got a crush on your divine masculine. <sighs> this man could very well have mental health issues. And um this man probably thought your divine masculine was playing about you, divine feminine. So your divine masculine probably want to marry you. But in this man's mind, he probably thought your divine masculine only wanted you for money. So in this man's whopped mind. He's thinking, okay, I know this dude don't want her. He want me. And um, he's marrying her only for money. But that's my dude. So, like I said, your divine masculine will have to defend himself. He's going to have to defend himself because your divine masculine was in his queen of pentacles energy, feminine. So, that's why that man, this karmic right here, was thinking your divine masculine only wanted to reconcile with you for money. Yeah, that's what that's what's going on. Cause this man something wrong with him. Something wrong with him. Yep. So again, divine feminine, I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna say this. If you have any type of communication with your divine masculine verbally, not text messages, whatever, listen more than you talk. Listen to what he's saying to you. Just listen to him. Um. So yeah. Divine Feminine, this is your reading for this week. Divine Feminine, please keep in mind that this reading, this energy may or may not be for you. Some of it might resonate. Some of it might not resonate with you. Um, this is YouTube. This is a public reading. So it might, um, it may or may not be for you as well, Divine Feminine. Please keep in mind that time is fluid. So this energy can manifest this week. It can manifest later on down the line in time. Or this could have been something... That happened in the past. But for whatever reason, it's coming out in the present. And it's relevant. So, got to figure it out. So, um, yes. Yeah, so, thank you again, Divine Feminine.